Hello and welcome to A Level Biology from that book. So, right at the beginning, it all centres around something as both of these units do. And this one's about CVD? Well, CVD stands for Cardiovascular Disease. Let's put that up. Alright, something you need to know. CVD. But wait, what is cardiovascular disease? Well, I'll write it up in a second. It's um, all the factors and negative impacts that can affect your circulatory system of the heart. And we'll go for a particular one later called atherosclerosis. There's also CHD, which is a type of CVD. Yeah, and that's coronary heart disease. One that affects the coronary arteries in the heart. Makes sense. And these are what these, this unit mostly goes around, but this gives you a bit of background knowledge right at the start. It has two stories about two people, it's all very interesting. Don't test you on that. Don't test you on that. Mm. So uh, we're going to skip over that and go straight to the circulatory system. You should be familiar with what's in the book at this stage. It's yeah. just uh, the different types of circulatory system. So, very broadly, if we start, we've got open and closed. So let's just start with that. Okay, I'll do open on this side. Alright, I'll do closed on this side. Like that. So we'll start with open. Okay. What has open? All small organisms with a very high surface area to volume ratio, and most insects can have an open circulatory system. What does that mean, True? Well, Wayne, it means they don't have any vessels for their blood to flow in. They just sort of have a big open area in their body, and by them moving, they sort of push around every fluid they need and they get it all by diffusion. Yes. So this can't really support us because no. we if, we, if we just have a big heart, I don't. I think I think we might be. Are you open? I just. I'm pretty sure we're closed. I'm pretty sure we're closed. If we were open, all of our blood will flow. Flip, 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 blood. It'd be our legs. That's very helpful. If we can't do the backflips, we might we might do it. Yeah, but then how would you eat and drink? So we have a closed. System. We do, and there's a few types of these. Unfortunately. Yeah. So. We can split this side up even more. We can. First you have a single circulatory system, and then you can have a double circulatory system. And then you can have a triple, we'll go on to that in a minute. We'll start with the, the ones you should know. Single. What is a single circulatory system? Well, Wayne, single is also to do with the amount of time that goes through the heart. So in a single circulatory system, it grounds, goes around once. Yes. So it goes around the whole body. So an example would be a fish. Yes. Fish have a single. So if I draw a heart, they don't actually look like that, I'm going to draw it like that. It goes around it once in a complete cycle like this. So somewhere here would be gill, somewhere here would be some more the gills. Yep, and it would go around, the oxygenated blood would be here, and then it would become oxygenated as it goes past the gill, the gills, and stuff goes in. And that, that bit of the body would get oxygenated blood, it becomes steadily less oxygenated, get to more gills, happen again, and go around. You should be familiar with red being used to describe yeah. the oxygenated and blue being deoxygenated. The only problem is you can already see, there's not very much oxygenated blood here or here. No. So it can't really promote really high metabolism or activity, really. That's where the double circulatory system comes in. It is, in. and that's what we've got. So, like I said before, it's to do with the other times it goes through the heart, double, twice, it goes around twice. You've got lungs, you should know you have lungs, and you have a body. Yes. So first, deoxygenated blood, it's fired in, round into the lungs, and then it comes back to the heart, being oxygenated, and then it's fired around the entire body. Now this gives a very strange but shape of the heart, but we'll go on to that later in the next topic. And this means that all of the body home. I was just going to say, because because we have the arteries and stuff, most of the blood gets around oxygenated and then comes deoxygenated by the end. Yes, like unlike the fish, we have very, we will, no, none of our body doesn't get oxygen. Yeah. So it isn't, it isn't quite like this, there's lots of arteries that go Yeah, off. and they get the small and they go to every single cell and that sort of jazz. Yeah, so yeah. it's much, much better. This is the best one. But, then what's triple wing? They're weird. That's sort yeah. of where you have both of these things going on for stuff yeah. like amphibians. Yeah, all amphibians. So they, they can breathe underwater, but they can breathe out of water. So they need to have both, but it gets a bit strange because they've got so many times they go through the heart, they get lots of backflow. I, 
I'm not going to draw it. You don't need to know it for... No, you don't need to, it's not going to need a diagram, but you just need to know it's not very efficient, there's lots of backflow, and they can't have much of high-end activity stuff. You'd need to know, maybe, that a frog would have this, oh, yeah. as far as you would go. Yeah, but it's amphibians. Mammals and stuff, reptiles have this, yeah. fish has this, small things and insects have this. Yeah, very small things. And, and that's, that's pretty good, that's it. Yeah. That's topic 1.1. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll do a summary of this one. No point, it's a very yeah, short video. It'll just be as long as this. So go straight on to how stuff works. We'll yeah. go into this in much more detail. We'll see you at topic 2.2 then. Let's crack on.